arm up or down. Today is the, it's April, is it the 17th today? It's the 17th of April today. I am a valuation surveyor. So I value houses for banks and building societies when people want to take out a mortgage. I have been doing that for about 14 years. Um, it came as a bit of a shock. Um, I suppose at first it didn't really impact us. Um, but then as time went on um, and businesses started closing and the idea or the word furlough came into being, I thought there was um, a possibility that I'd be at home for a while. Um, and then the day came that we all got the phone call at work and it was particularly difficult at work because we were going into people's homes and we were potentially exposed to a virus and every day we went to work was we didn't know if we were going to come home with it um, and so yeah when when the phone calls started coming out and the boys at work were all ringing one another and me saying, oh, I've had my phone call and I've got the next few weeks off work. And then when my phone call came, I, did, I, wasn't, I wasn't being furloughed. I, I just knew, I knew then that actually it was going to be a really tough road. I think to begin with, it was okay. Um, we stopped going into people's homes, so um, the immediate risk was eliminated. And working from home, I think initially was great. Um, but then, as as it changed, and banks and building societies all wanted desktop valuations, and there was very few people doing the work of very many. The pressure was on and um, of course when you work from home the doors don't shut at five o'clock and you know you can just continue to work until the systems shut down at 11 o'clock at night and uh, it, it was very hard it was very tough and and this happened within a matter of days really of the desktop valuations coming in and it was, a, it was a long slog. It was very, very hard. There were dark times and, you know, when you're not seeing anybody outside of the four walls that you're in, apart from your family, and you don't want to put all of that on your family, it's, it's hard. So, Mummy Yums came to mind when I was doing a lot of walking with the dogs when I was signed off work. Um, I did a lot a lot of walking, a lot of thinking, thinking about the finances, about how I was going to go back to work, whether I was going to go back to work, whether there was something else that I could do with my time. And I thought about whether or not I could bake for a living, do something that I enjoy. And Mummy Yums just came to mind with a bit of influence and help from my family. Um, and yeah, it's something that I've done and I enjoy and produced gifts and treats for family and friends over Christmas and birthdays. And yeah, it seemed like a good idea. So my favourite things to bake are cupcakes of various different varieties and um, a big favourite with everybody is my scones and also brownies. I do brownies and 
really. I bake anything that anybody wanted, really. Um, but those are the main things I do. And they come in a, a personalised gift box with um, a handwritten message for everybody. And, um, yeah, put together with love and a message from me. Uh, during lockdown, um, I've had a little bit of help with my baking and putting my business together. Um, it's been a bit of a family affair. I think when I was off work, um, I had a lot of support from my family as well as work. Um, and I suppose putting together Mummy Yums was a bit of a focus for me. Um, so, um, yeah, I had help doing cost analysis and ordering and um, everybody had a job and um, yeah I, I had help uh, not so much with the baking but more ideas and putting ideas together and mm. brainstorming really and it's um, I think everybody has had a little bit of input into putting mummy yums together into what it is today. Right. So, what is your name? Mm, Ellie. <laughs> Ellie, what? Healy. How how have you helped Mum work around the house with Mummy Yums? Work around the house. Yes, yeah, in baking and everything. Okay. Um. So I've encouraged her a lot to um pursue it because she's been saying for a long time that she wants to have a baking business and she really enjoys it and she's good at it. Um. I helped make loads of boxes, I did taste tests for her, I got a lot of my friends involved. Um, helped to make her Instagram page and just generally tried to encourage her to yeah. do it because she had a lot of doubts about it. What about Amy and Josh? Amy, yeah, my two best mates Amy and Josh, they were very helpful with it all. They've bought a lot off her, they've um, kept track of how much money she's like getting and how much she's spending on other things and what orders she's got. She's got like these order books and stuff and Amy and Josh have helped with that. Um, and yeah, they've been helping get our friends and stuff to taste test them all. Well, it's had its low points. Um, there have been times where it's been quite tough to deal with, but um, I think she's very lucky to have the friends that she has and and the friends that I have as well because they're very involved in her life and um, she's very lucky to have a family that loves her a lot so it's been difficult but um, yeah I think she's she's obviously she's she's better and I've tried to encourage the mummy yum thing because I thought it'd make her happy and um, I think it has <laughs> do the whole thing again uh, there would probably be one thing that I would do differently and that would maybe not invite a puppy into the house a week before the, the environmental health officer came. No I have no regrets at all. I am incredibly grateful to have had the support that I've had from 